Thank you. I've really been enjoying your material and your uh, perspective. I wanted to chime in with a couple things. Um, my father's patriarchal blessing says he's a literal descendant of Ephraim. And all the sisters that I know of who've gotten the patriarchal blessing were also assigned Ephraim. And my mom has always asked for copies of our patriarchal blessings so she could read them. And I remember her bitterness when I asked her what tribe she was and she said, Manasseh. I think she knew that it was because of her race. Fast forward. I am a genealogist because I was really big into it when I was a member. And I find the patriarchal blessing of my Hawaiian grandma and of both of her parents. Get ready for a mindfuck. So my grandma got her patriarchal blessing late in life. And as I've said in other videos, it was a mind changer for me because anything I'd ever, ever, ever heard about my Hawaiian grandmother came from my mom and was all negative. So then I pick up these blessings given to my great grandparents on the same day. They had been hosts to the white Mormon missionaries. They were like the, the home station, it sounded like. The patriarch knew them and they were beloved to the patriarch. The favorite line from my great grandmother's blessing that I love, I loved, was all these blessings shall be yours if you will live for them. And since my patriarchal blessing said that I was heir to all the blessings of my fathers, I considered literally that my grandma's and my great grandma's and my great grandpa's blessing and anybody from whom I descended all the way back to Joseph, those were my blessings too. So I was like, oh, I like this blessing. I like this blessing. This great grandma had been so faithful that she was asked to leave her husband and her children and go by donkey and serve a full-time mission for the church. And she did. I've seen the picture. Then we get to my great grandfather. He was an elite chief and according to my mother, well known for being a genealogist. Guess who the patriarch said he descended from? My great grandmother was told House of Joseph. My great grandfather was told Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus Christ himself. I tried to make this work in my true believing Mormon brain. I found out about the red haired Maris. I found out about Mary Magdalene perhaps being tribe of Ephraim. And that's how, you know, somehow Ephraim, Joseph, Jesus, Judah, I don't know. It's all bullshit. I've since found out that like people like Heber C. Kimball were told they descended from Christ. Uh-huh. I smell bullshit. 